morning children i am preeti kumar in the previous children in the previous session we have learned about moving copying searching files searching files with the help of wild cards and in the wild card session you have seen we have used many different type of extensions to find the file so today we will try to understand what are these file formats so understanding different file formats students you might have noticed that while finding a file or folder using wildcard characters we made use of the file format extension of a file but are you aware of what a file format is let us understand the concept of file formats different types of files can be stored in the computer example text documents image files presentations etc each type of file has a different file format extensions associated with it a file format is a standard way of encoding information in a computer file it is generally indicated by the files extension a file extension contains three or four letters appended at the end of the file name separated by a period dot or dot sign some of the most common types of files with their file formats are documents a file saved in microsoft word has the extension dot doc or dot docx spreadsheets a spreadsheet created in ms excel has three extension has the extension .xls or .xlsx image files image files are usually saved with a number of file formats such as gif .png tiff etc audio files the sound files are saved with an extension .mp3 .wav etc presentation a presentation created with ms powerpoint is saved with an extension .ppt or .pptx the file types is also indicated with a file icon for example microsoft word powerpoint excel etc so children try to understand i have saved few files here try to understand the extension and its picture see few files are here with the file only you can understand which program it belongs to suppose x is here so automatically you will understand this is a excel file here this audio symbol is there so automatically you will understand this is a audio file here the picture is here so automatically you will understand this is a png file now if you want to check also ki which extension it is so just simply right click go to properties and you can see here mp4 video file vlc dot mp4 is there automatically whenever you save any file in the audio video it will save in this format here in this you can see the properties dot xlx is given so whenever you save any file in microsoft office excel worksheet it will be saved with the file name plus dot xlx so this way i hope all of you understand what are the file extensions now let us try to understand how to shorting files shorting the desktop item means arranging them in a proper order windows let us short files by name size item types and date modified shorting help in easy retrieval of the required files there are four ways you can short a file of your files there are four ways you can uh, short a file of your files name selecting the option order name helps you selecting this option order have files alphabetically by file name 
so just let us see i am clicking on the empty place then i will say short by then you can see i am going to choose the name you observe what changes will appear so what it does it arranges the file in alphabetically so this way you can see a g and this way it is arranged now the another is size so in the size it arranges files in the descending order of file size so let us see it is already arranged here in the descending order of the size of files now item types group the files based on their types so let us use this item types so it has grouped the files according to the its type now date modified what is date modified organizes files according to the date these were last modified now i'll choose this date modified so whenever it was modified according to that date it is arranged so windows server also gives us an experience of working with multiple applications suppose just now i am reading the text from this file this uh, window now i can open another window like ms word and even i can open paint so parallelly i can work on it so how can you get this option just right click the mouse button on your taskbar and just say show window side by side so you can see windows are arranged in this way you can arrange many windows many applications like this so this way i can type here i can draw something here this way i can read the text from here so these are the windows feature which we have learned today so children you can practice and uh, if you don't have a system at your home whenever the school gets open you practice in school thank you children